in today's video, we're going to be looking at the top 10 LEGO sets under $50 that you can pick up. So let's just start off today's video with number 10, which is going to be Boba Fett's Starship, better known as the Slave One. This set in particular comes with 593 pieces and two minifigs. It's set number 75312 and quite interesting, it's an enjoyable build and quite justifiable for spending $50. It's a super detailed model kit of the Slave One. I know it's not extremely large, but it even has some playability functions. Like it had some stud shooters, the wing slash flaps uh, move around, which is a nice feature. And currently on Amazon, it's for $40. So it's way under that $50 threshold. So I will link that in the description below as well as all sets uh, in today's video just to help you guys out. But anyways, this set was an absolute joy to build. Uh, it is quite large for the price especially at forty dollars uh, and comes with only two minifigs one being the mandalorian and the other one being boba fett all in all a great set to start off as number 10. Well, let's kick over to a different lego theme to start number nine this is going to be a part of the creator three in one theme and it is none other than set number three one one four three it is the bird house this set in particular comes with 476 pieces and has a retail price of $30. Yep, I said that correct. $30. Now, unfortunately, you don't get any minifigs, but it's a pretty awesome looking set. It comes with three fantastic animal scenes. Well, that's what it's described, right? Uh, but one of them is the Busy Bird House, which is the probably the most showcased one. Uh, includes five different colorful birds. And then the next one that's showcased is Hanging Out at the Park. That's the name of it. It features a hedgehog and a squirrel sitting on a park bench. I don't know why I really do like this one. I think I think it looks really cool. It's probably my favorite, even more than the birdhouse. And then of course they have a hive of activity. So it comes with four bees. Pretty sweet stuff. I really do like the set, uh, especially for the retail price at $30. It's definitely a bang for your buck. But switching back to Star Wars comes in at number eight. This set is going to be the Imperial TIE Fighter. It's set number seven five. 300. It has an escalated retail price of $45. This set used to retail for $40, but unfortunately, I undergo in August a price increase. Now, fortunately, you can pick this one up on Amazon for $36 at a 20% discount. So again, this will be linked in the description below. So a nice price point at $36 is well under that $50 mark. And it's a reason why it's number eight. It features 432 pieces, which is quite justifiable, justifiable uh, for the price of the set. And it does come with two, re three really good minifigs. It comes with a Stormtrooper and of course that TIE Fighter palette and of course a droid. The next Lego theme coming in at number seven is going to be upon the Harry Potter. And this is going to be set number 75979. And this is none other than the set called Hedwig. It features 630 pieces with a retail price of $40. Definitely a good price per piece ratio. Now, unfortunately, it only comes with one minifig and, of course, a Hedwig. Uh, that minifig being Harry Potter, which I do like his suit in this one. Uh, but anyways, like I said, 630 pieces is quite the price pieces. Uh, it does have a couple movability and like functionality things. It has moving mechanical wings. Uh, it has a nice display of over seven and almost eight inches long. Uh, and the realistic wings look quite well. And of course, if you rotate it, the wings flap. So it has playability, which definitely makes this uh, justifiable because having playability for a very low discounted price of $40 is quite awesome. Uh, but anyways, jumping over to number six, we're going to talk about a Lego set that's actually releasing on April 1st, 2023. And that's going to be Indiana Jones. And it's the Fighter Plane Chase. Surprisingly not, this set retails for $35. So again, well under that $50 limit. It features 387 pieces, so about 10 cents price per piece ratio. But for me, this set is absolutely amazing, especially being a licensed theme. I just find the price pretty awesome, even at retail price. It has three minifigs as well. It comes with Indiana Jones, Professor Henry Jones Sr., and of course, a pilot. And all in all, just looks like an amazing build. Super detailed, super fun. Uh, I definitely plan on picking this absolute day one on the live stream. So make sure to subscribe to the channel for that. But anyways, now that we're halfway through, let's kick it back to the creator three in one. Probably some of the best values for your money. Uh, this is going to be the Downtown Noodle Shop. It features 569 pieces and has a retail price 
of $45. Of course, this is a three in one, so there's a lot of fun different floors to build. Uh, one of the, my favorite ones was the newsstand and art studio. I don't know why, I just like how detailed they are. I really do love that. It does feature two minifigs, so uh, I think they could have upped it on the minifig side. Uh, but again, still at $45, you get a lot of unique pieces and can make a lot of cool different mocks uh, from this build. Even adding these together, like getting like three, four of these sets, I know it would be a way above the $50 price mark, but it has room for expansion. This one is also really fun as well. The Gaming Fun Arcade features three gaming machines. Pretty sweet stuff. I do really like it. For that $45 mark, it is quite a bang for the buck, simply because you could build three different Lego sets from the one. Uh, and in particular, it can fit into like a Lego City or make your own custom designs out of it. I just think the amount of pieces for this value is quite justifiable. Let's jump back to number four, which is going to be a part of the Star Wars line. And this is none other than set number 75342, the Republic Fighter Tank. A very difficult Lego set to find in the coming months, right? This is retiring here at the end of 2023. It had a very short shelf life and is quite an amazing set. It retails for $40. It only has 262 pieces, but to be quite honest, a lot of people are not buying it for the piece count or even the build. They're buying it for the mini figs. It comes with Mace Windu, an 187th Legion clone commander, and then two 187th Legion clone troopers, as well as two battle droids. So I definitely think the value for this set is quite significant. I really do doubt we will get a deal on any of these uh, going into the end of the year, but hey, who knows? I hope so, but even at the $40 range, I think this set is very well priced and definitely makes it onto this list. Number three, we have a Speed Champion set, and this is probably one of my favorite Speed Champion sets on the market, and it is a two-pack, and this is the Mercedes AMG F1 W12 E Performance and the Mercedes AMG Project 1. This set retails for $35 and fortunately is on sale 20% off at $28 on Amazon. Again, I will link that in the description just to save you guys some time. But anyways, this set is amazing. It comes with 564 pieces for $35 even at retail price point. And again, it is cheaper uh, currently on Amazon. But I think this set is amazing. I love the Formula 1 car. It's definitely my absolute favorite uh it's about time lego's done some speed champions in the formula one range there's just so many fans and such a need for it uh that it's 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 very pleasing to see that this was made and i hope lego makes more of these especially at this retail price uh going forward but anyways on to number two where this might surprise you it's a lego city set and this in particular is set number 60388 and this one in, is the gaming tournament truck it has a retail price of $40. And I'm going to be quite honest with you guys. I think $40 is a re very reasonable price for this set. Uh, it has 344 pieces, but it features a bunch of large pieces for your semi truck build. I just really do love this set. Uh, it fits in with a Lego City quite nicely. It has four pretty cool minifigs that uh, are kind of like battling it out. You have your blue and your pink girl. Uh, it just makes so much sense. I, I love it. I don't know why I'm such a fan of this set. Uh, I, I really am just fanboying it. Uh, but quite fortunately, this set, on top of having a retail price of $40, is on sale uh, at 20% off. So it's at the $31 range, which makes it even more just about purchasing. I think it's just an overall great build for the price. But anyways, the moment you were all waiting for, our number one set, of course, falls under the Star Wars theme, and this is set number 75333. It is Obi-Wan Kenobi's Jedi Starfighter, and this set retails for a price of $30, but quite fortunately, it's even cheaper. On Amazon, it's 20% off for a whopping price of $24, making it probably the best set under $50, uh, simply because it's half of that, right? It's under $25, uh, and it's just quite the bang for the buck. It has 282 pieces and comes with three awesome minifigs. Uh, it comes with the droid Obi-Wan Kenobi and Tau we a uh, very cool set super detailed it's just a obi-wan starfighter from the the show uh but quite honestly i think the minifigs justify this price point uh, as well as the build of course but that's going to be my top 10 lego sets under 50 dollars. if you want to see this video with under 25 dollars, let me know in the comments below also i'm going to link a rocketon free 30 dollars if you do plan on ordering these sets from lego target or anywhere except amazon it'll a nice little discount to help save you some cash uh so make sure to use it uh you will get 30 dollars for signing up which is quite nice anyways guys that's gonna wrap up today's video hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comments below and thanks so much for watching we'll see you in the next one peace out